Hello everyone, it's Tyler, and uh, we're back with Redstone. So today we're going to teach you how to make a one-wide uh, T flip-flop. Basically what a T flip-flop does is it turns a button into a lever. And this is very useful for like binary counters and other things like that. <clears throat> so, click it once, torch go, it gets powered, click it once, uh, click it twice, it's back to normal. So, uh, when you click the button, it toggles this torch off, um, which prevents power from going to this and prevents power from going to this block when um, this redstone, which also gets powered by the button, flips this piston up. So, <clears throat> it stops power for a second, and then once the button unpresses, the torch goes back to its regular state and powers the piston. Uh, then this, And then it catches this block, and it'll pull it up with the next click of the button. So you'll see it quickly and then there you go so now this is back out and then once you just pull it up there you go and <clears throat> this kind of u abuses a glitch with uh, pistons and timing as you can see it's not holding onto the block so let's make this, it's very simple you will need oops, three blocks there two three blocks out delete that block here put my button on this here there we go uh, you'll need a patch of redstone there put your piston right there Oops. okay and then I'm flying up here put my uh, my repeater there one And now, don't forget to do this, you're going to have to go underground, put one torch there, and then here's your output. So, let's say I want to power a door. Oops. This is advanced creative mod, by the way. It's really good. Click it once. I heard the door noise, but it didn't move. That's really strange. Did I forget to do something? <laughs> ah. Yeah. Uh, due to lag uh, while running my screen recording, this probably got messed up. Uh, you, that has to be on that tick, or else uh, it will. Uh, that signal will get crossed with the button, and it won't. It won't, the timing will be all thrown off. So, click it once, click it twice, and you're good. So, that was how to make a one-wide toggle flip flop or T flip flop. Turns a button into a lever very useful, very compact, and I highly suggest using this design versus the ones that are like six wide, I don't know how big they are, but I don't use those. And um, I can't remember what my last video was, but um, I don't think I showed this. It's just a, a different RS Norlatch. Um, it's only one wide, and yeah, here, you can just take a gander at this. Yeah, I said gander. Um, the only bad part about this is the signal comes out inverted, so you'll have to invert it. Um, yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. This is the T flip flop, and this is a one wide RS Norlatch. Can't remember if I showed that or not, so I thought I'd just put it in at the end here. Alright, see you later.